Hello, everybody, and welcome into the SFA Season 15 College Football Playoff. We are back for our final opening round game, and it has been a legendary day of SFA action. We've had three opening round games, all three came down to the very wire. This is going to be arguably the best one of them all as we've got number six Southern Miss taking on number 11 Oklahoma State. It's going to be a fun one, folks. So lock in, final game, and then we got a full day tomorrow. we got another four games coming at you, the entire quarterfinals. So it's going to be one hell of a day, uh, one hell of a week uh, as we are on the road to the CFP launch. As always, this is the SFA. It's an online dynasty ran through Discord, Twitch, and YouTube. You can hop in at any time, claim a team, and lead them to the college football playoff. Um, if you guys are watching live, uh, Use that Twitch Prime sub so you don't miss out on any of the action here as uh, we, we want you watching ad-free. And also any and all revenue made through you guys helps our national championship winner as I send them a full trophy a care package with home fear merch and all of that fun stuff. So check it out. And as always, got to shout out our friends at Home Field Apparel. Uh, they do great stuff over there. Use code SFA for 15% off. So what do we got here? Well, we got Oklahoma State coming off of a loss to Nebraska in a blizzard in the Big 12 Championship. It was such a poor performance that the Heisman voters dropped the best receiving season we've ever seen out of the Heisman race. And Stiquavius Gates, the surefire pick out of the out of the Heisman winning slot. Um so we'll see what happens. But you got the five-star Stequavius Gates here from Oklahoma State. Hoping to have a better day today. Hopefully we don't have snow down in Southern Miss. But they will play that road game. Running back is SFA player, the Old Dominion transfer, Huey Creed. Wide receiver, like we said, Tyreek Asher. One of the best seasons of all time. Uh, Adam Shelton, he's really good as well. And Marcus Hill. Tight end is Derek McNeil, transfer from Illinois. The offensive line looks like this. Brian Huston still questionable for this game. Alan Mitchell and Oliver Jones. Not the best offensive line, but not the worst. Defensive line, John Willis, Lee Thomas on one end. He had a touchdown in that Big 12 championship. And Deuce Withers in the middle along with Terry Baker. At linebacker, Jacob Todd, Leonard Akana, the SFA player, and Kyle Mixon. Out wide, Brian Mays, Tyler Thibodeau, and Caleb McCarty. If you guys don't know, he's a transfer from Toledo. He led the SFA in interceptions two years ago, so he will be their slot man. And at safety, Derek Hackett on one side and John Graves on the other. You might also see the SFA player Kazra Ramdas uh, do a little bit here and there. And then their kicker is Arkansas State transfer SFA player Robin Edmondson. He's 10 of 13 and very good at power, not so great accuracy. And they'll be taking on number six, Southern Miss. Did not even win their conference, and they're getting a home game here. And it's Trey White. He's been so good. We'll see if he can do it today in the CFP, do what D. Dowis never could. And their running backs, DJ Hall and Marcus Brandt, both healthy, both insanely good. Brandt breaks every tackle he'll ever face, which doesn't make any sense, but he does. Uh, Sean Martin has proved to be an amazing fullback. And then wide receivers, DJ Anderson, Lee Talley, and AJ Harrison. At tight end, you got Adam Smith. And then the line is pretty good, led by Bobby Joe Toot, the SFA player here. Center looks to be pretty good. Lauren Hammy over here and Hawkins on the other side. On defense, you got Satchel DeJogi, SFA player. You got JR Jones. You got Alex Duckett in the middle. Jordan Anderson, Dwight Benson, and SFA player Larry Toro here on the edge. And out wide, you got the legendary Pablo Smalls making it back to the CFP. He was an instrumental part of that Georgia Southern run to the Natty in season 13. Can he do it again? He had an interception in that national championship as a senior. Ty Hagelwood, SFA player here. John Henley, Charles Gutierrez, and then in the back, Ryan Gordon, SFA player Curtis Blaylock, and Darius Covington. B-Dog's old team. He already won his game against Boston College in a thriller. See if they can do it again. Their kicker is going to be Greg Douglas. Uh, 85 power, 74 accuracy, and that is where we sit. This is going to be one heck of a way to finish out the CFP opening round of Season 15, our last on NCAA 14. It's going to be one heck of a game, and the winner of this game has a date with Nebraska. Not going to be a fun time for the winner, but a lot, a lot coming between now and then. So let's get that prediction rolling. Very even on paper in this game. 
Going to be a very interesting game. We got a triple option team versus one of the most high powered sim offenses in the country. So do you have OK State winning or do you have Southern Miss winning? It's our last prediction of the day. Make sure to get some of those Bob and us going. So we got two minute prediction going here. Welcome in, welcome in. I'm going to get my screenshot here. Very excited for this game. And this is also our last game in the Bear Cave sweepstakes for season 15. So after this game, I will be able to figure out who our winner is. We were tied at the top. So it's going to be very interesting to see who wins that reward player for season 16 and beyond. As always, all of the VODs will be available later on tonight. I am going to get all the highlight videos out tonight as well. Those will probably going to come super late for most of you guys on the East Coast, but they will be up before I go live tomorrow. So welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We got D-Sleep here just in time. They stole the Heisman from Gates and Asher. Yes, they did. This is going to be a good one. I'm very interested to see how Oklahoma State plays compared to the Blizzard. So a lot of a lot going down on Oklahoma State, but remember Southern Miss is really good live as well. We watched a full game of them versus Coastal the first time they beat them. Oklahoma State hasn't been as powerful as we've seen in the Sims, so we will see. But this is two teams going at it, first time in the CFP for both of them. And technically Oklahoma State historically in the SFA is the worst team to make the CFP this year. They have the lowest winning percentage, just a hair above 50% all time coming into this game. So we'll see what happens here. Get those Bobanos going. That's what we're waiting on, our final game of the day. It's been a classic. We had a Texas epic comeback in the snow. We have Baylor walking it off against Cincy. Then we had USC shocking Buffalo. And now we've got Southern Miss in Oklahoma State. Who is going to face Nebraska? Big, bad Nebraska, man. It's been a one hell of a day. Historically, the CFP opening round hasn't been too great, but it's this has been a master class. And remember, as we say, in or as we talk about the Bear Cave situation, this is the last game. So we had a Texas no cover. We had a Baylor no cover. Then we had a USC outright victory. And this game, this line is going to be two points to Southern Miss. They're the home team. We've only seen now two upsets ever happen in the CFP opening round, and they were both 8-9 matchups. Can Southern Miss get it done? This is the spot that ECU won from last year. So here we go. Enough dilly-dallying. We are off in the final game of the NCAA 14 era of the CFP opening rounds. Here we go. We got some of the late time crew coming in. And we're 3 Eastern here. Remember, tomorrow we'll be back with the entire quarterfinals. We'll have two games in the morning and two in the afternoon. You can check announcements, scroll up a little bit to see the full list. And then if you are participating in the quarterfinal tomorrow, I'm going to get you guys in a chat, try to figure out time slots for you guys. So please be timely with responding there. Uh, USC shocked the world and beat Buffalo. They were up. They ran out to a 21-0 lead, held on. They didn't score a second-half point. Buffalo almost came back. But we're in Southern Miss. No rain. I was hoping that it would be a clean game. It looks like we're going to finally get a clean match to see what Gates and Asher are made of. Here we go, folks. All the cards are on the table. We're down in Southern Mississippi. Who is going to face Nebraska in the cotton? Here's the coin toss. Shoot, I didn't even look at the jersey matchup. Could have been done something crispy for OK State. Oh, well. Missed that opportunity. That's OK. Here we go. Oklahoma State will start with the ball. And we are off our final opening round game of season 15. Tyler Thibodeau takes it 25 back, and here comes Stequavius Gates. He's pissed off. He lost the Heisman. You got Asher, the Belentikoff winner, and the, the Walter Camp winner, number 80, bottom of your screen. So first and 10. They're going to go under center here. Quick throw and a quick throw away for Gates to open the game. But if you see here, he has 42 passing TDs on the season, 4,200 yards. Just not even close to the season that uh, that the UNC guy had. But he had a walk-off in the bowl game. So I said I wouldn't talk shit about him. 
So here we go. Second and ten here. Gates. Empty. Gates now. He's going to take off here. Breaks a tackle. And he gets smacked around by Larry Toro. So a quick third down here for OK State. Gates can run it. He's a very good runner. We've seen him do it time and time again. There's Pablo Smalls, number 35, the impact player. It will be Pablo Smalls working on Tyreek Asher all day long. Cannot wait for that. Third and seven. Gates. Dumps that off to Huey Cree, and that will be a three and out for Oklahoma. So a three and out here for the Cowboys. They try to unthaw from that Big 12 championship in Arrowhead. As we'll get Southern Miss out here early on, their first touch of the day. So here comes Trey White. They run that triple option offense. See if Oklahoma State can stop it. Here's the handoff to DJ Hall, his first touch of the day, and he gets two. Southern Miss, as well, was in contention for the one seed with Texas until they lost to Coastal. So both teams are coming off losses. Here's that triple option. Trey White, one of the better quarterbacks in the country. And Sean Martin gets seven. He is an X-factor at the fullback position. But it's a quick third down here. So third and one. Southern Miss. Man in motion. That's Brandt. They hand it off to Martin, and that's going to be a first. So Southern Miss first down. They hurry it up. This game is going to be probably a lot different than the other ones. Very, uh, very on the ground, very... Uh, Slow but steady as Trey White goes down there. John Graves credited with the sack. So second and long now. We've yet to see a really a uh, traditional option play from them. Motioning the tight end out. Fakes that. Trey White's going to throw it. He has time. He dumps that to DJ Hall. He only hits three. So another third down coming from Southern Miss. Been a great day today. Hopefully we get another classic here. Trey White over the middle. That's going to be tipped away and another fourth down. So here comes the punt unit. Oklahoma State looking to come after this one. They faked it. They're going to line up for the return. Field this at the 12. They get past the 20. Tyler Thibodeau, the corner. So here comes Gates and company. They've gotten out to a couple of slow starts this year when we've watched them live. See if they can figure out the offense early on. Motion Creed here. Going to be a throw. Gates, he has time. Dumps that short and into the turf. Quavius Gates looking rattled here early on. That was an easy throw to Asher that he just whiffed on. One of the better quarterbacks in the country, if not the best. Second and 10. They bring a blitz. He does take off. He breaks one, and he's hit hard, and that's going to be a sack. Looks like there's some nerves here on both sides today. Looks like we're going to have a slow start where they're feeling each other out. Neither team looks comfortable at all. Third and long. Man in motion. That's the tight end, Derek McNeil. Clean pocket. Yams it deep, and it's tipped away. Ryan Gordon said no. That would have been a touchdown. We saw a whiff early in the in the Buffalo game that, that was similar to that, that they just whiffed on it. Good thing the safety came through there as Charlie Gutierrez brings this one back. So a couple of punts on both sides. 
See if Southern Miss a better field position here. Every other game, we kind of had a quick start. This one, not so much. We're almost halfway through here. Man in motion, that is Anderson. Brandt, going to get the handoff here. He breaks a tackle, breaks another. He's still going. Marcus Brandt all year long, man. He has just shown his power. This man, you can't tackle him. An elite running back here. Maryland eye time. Hand off. This one going. It looks like, is this the fullback? Yeah, Sean Martin get the handoff in the Maryland eye. Love to see that. He gets 10. Second and inches now. Back to the option. Southern Miss getting very creative here as they are driving. Man in motion. They toss it out. It's halfback pass, but he's sacked. Brandt was going to toss that Zook in Lee Thompson. Lee Thomas brings him down. That's Miss Sack, man. What is going on in this game? Third and four. Man in motion. Trey. He breaks the tackle. Can he get that first? No. Fourth down. And they bring out the punt unit here, so they're not going to be aggressive. Looks like this is going to be a very, at least, defensive start to the game. Oh, they almost blocked that one. Let this go over the head, and that is through the end zone. So no score yet here. Oklahoma State still looking for their first first down. First and 10 here, Stequavius Gates out empty. Asher, top of the screen, working on Pablo Smalls. Or no, Pablo Smalls bomb. He's on Hagglewood right now. That's a mismatch, but Gates keeps it here, and he goes down. So a couple interesting things so far. Gates has yet to hand it off to Huey Creed, who had 40-plus carries against Nebraska. And he also can't throw it for anything this game. <laughs> Second and 11 now. Very interesting offensive strategy here for Coach Sved to start it. Second 11 finally hands it to Creed. He gets five. His first touch on their third drive. So third and five here. Can they avoid their third straight three and out? Trips right. Gates rolls right. Gates. Throws that short, and he steps out. Fourth down. Some mental mistakes here for the Cowboys. They do seem rattled. Remember, both programs in their first CFP appearance of all time. Nice return there. So here comes Southern Miss. They'll start this drive at the 37, back in the option. Trey White assessing the defense. Brant in motion again. Triple option gets it out to Brant. He finds some room on the edge. Brant stiffies a man, gets 13. When the option works, man, it is so beautiful. Takes the handoff, and that's going to be another first down. Adam Smith this time. Across the 40 now, Southern Miss starting to drive. Will we finally see points? Safety coming down. Wide receiver in motion. Trey White makes an adjustment. He's going to throw it here. Deep drop. Floats it over the middle. Wide open. Man, there's some room. He's streaking down the side. Shannon Bernard gets 22. Another big play here for Southern Miss. Looks like Southern Miss has the has all the momentum here early. Inside the 20. 
Trey White flips it out. That ball's on the ground. DJ Hall picks it up, but he's going to lose yards. He only ends up losing four, but a big-time error. Almost throwing the game away right there was Trey White. So second and 14 now, just inside the 20. Split backs, Brant and Hall. Can be quick option. White keeps it to the edge. He gets three. This will be a third and long now. Split backs again, third and 11. White's going to throw it to screen pass. He gets it out to Hall. He gets a block, but he's pushed out. And they are going for it. So passing up the easy field goal, going for the Jaws. They fake it. White over the middle. It's knocked away. That's a turnover. What a deflection by Graves. As we remain scoreless. Not sure what Southern Miss was thinking there. You got to take the points. We saw a situation in the USC Buffalo game where USC didn't take the points. We thought it'd come back to bite them, but they ended up being okay. But here, there's no points. You got to take it. Quick option now. Gets it out to Creed. Creed breaks one, and he gets seven. He, had, he saw a massive volume in that Nebraska game in the blizzard, but they just couldn't quite keep up. Second and three. Quick option. Gates keeps it. Gates, Gates, he gets 12. Nice run there for Gates. Should be the last play of the first quarter here. That was the first first down of the day for Oklahoma State. Hand off to Creed here, and he gets molly whopped. So that'll be the end of the first quarter. We are still scoreless. Southern Miss had their chance, but they went for it instead of settling for the points. See if that comes back to bite them here. The 6-11 matchup shaping up to be another good one. Every game has been a one-possession game today. Second and seven, Gates dumps this short. And that's going to be a first down to Marcus Hill. And I think with all these teams losing all over, I think it just showcases how deep the SFA is this year. Like you got like 10 and three teams, nine and three teams unranked. So anybody can be anybody here. Gates takes off. He's going to get towards the first again, takes another lick. Some of these guys got to learn how to slide before they get to the new game. Second and three. Gates again. He takes off again. He finds room again. Wait, he go backwards. What are we doing, Gates? He had the first and he lost it. Is the CTE already on in Stequavius Gates' brain? What? What was that? All right, third and two now for Gates. He dumps this short. That's going to be a first down. Marcus Hill, so doesn't come back to bite him, but interesting task tactics here for Gates. Don't let him know your next cut, I guess. First and ten. To be a handoff to Creed. He gets domed in the backfield by Larry Toro, the SFA player, the veteran. Still scoreless here as Oklahoma State approaches midfield. Their best drive of the day. Split backs. Asher, no catches. Top of your screen. Give me triple option. They flip it out. Huey Creed has some space. He runs over one. He gets a first. 13. First down inside the 40. 
Gates keeps it again. He has some room. He has the sideline. There goes Gates. He's finally pushed down after 23. What a drive from Oklahoma State. And they've done it primarily on the ground. Almost no throwing. So maybe the, the Blizzard run focus wasn't a fluke. Maybe this is just what they decide to do on game day. First and 10. Asher 101, top of your screen. Give me a quick throw the other way to Shelton. Shelton has the edge. He gets about nine. Second and one. They're out empty with Gates. Watch the QB draw. Corner blitz, dumps that short. That's McNeil, he gets the first. Looking for the first points of the game, Gates. They're on the four. Can they punch it home? Take the lead on the road. First in goal for Oklahoma State. The handoff to Creed. He finds a hole, and he is hit by, I believe that was Blaylock. Yes, it was. Longtime SFA player. Second in goal now. Gates keeps it, and no, stuffed. Wasn't going to be uh, beaten by that again. John Henley stayed home. Beautiful play there by the safety. Third and goal now from the eight. Gates throws it. Gates, he has some time on the run. Throws it, he hits Asher, but he had to come back. He couldn't get into the end zone. And they decide to take the three. So Oklahoma State being the smart team. This will be a very easy chip shot. About an extra point. Easier than an extra point, And it's good. So 3-0 is your score midway through the second quarter. So after they just stop Southern Miss, they drive all the way down. And they score themselves a field goal themselves on the goal line. So that's your difference here as we see Trey White come back out. They're going to throw this. Floaty, he hits his man Anderson. That's going to be a first. I feel like Trey White's playing a little too fast here. He had no blitzers or anything. He could have easily taken his time there, delivered a better throw. Needs to settle down. Man in motion. Quick option. Flips it out. Gets the edge. Gets a couple. A.J. Harrison. Second and eight now at the 40. Or at the 39. Officially past that halfway point. Southern Miss driving it again. Trey White. He runs it. He finds a lane and gets tripped up. That's Baker. Baker, the man that forced the fumble against Julius Swain, led to a touchdown last week with Lee Thomas. Keeps this in a third down. Split backs. Southern missed. He takes off. Can they get him? Yes, it is. It's Baker again. Terry Baker making a statement on this drive. Gets the ball back to state. The pokes are cooking. It also always makes me chuckle how the revamp team in whatever version we play on didn't get the full PNG for Southern Miss. So you have that black square for the H's. I think that's so funny. It's just like how you know it's a fan-made mod. <laughs> like the main logo. How do you not get the PNG? <laughs> so first and 10 here for Oklahoma State. Hand off here to Huey Creed, and he goes down. Southern Miss does get the ball after halftime, so see if we can get any touchdowns here today. Split back set. Looks like they're going to go into this running again. Huey Creed goes nowhere. 
Not sure why Oklahoma State's running it so much. Do they think they could overpower this group of five team? I don't know, but third down. Man in motion, that is Tyreek Asher. Huey Creed can't do anything with it. It's going to be a three and out. Hey, don't put it past him, Zach. We saw the Nebraska 6-0 final a couple of years ago with, with, uh, with this team. Would not put it past him. So here comes Southern Miss now. See if they can score here before halftime. Oklahoma State blitzes, and that's a catch for Adam Smith. It's going to be about eight. Very pedestrian half so far, but Southern Miss has a chance to take the lead before, before we hit the break. Option, hands it to the fullback, a nice six-yard gain. Be a very back-and-forth, slow-moving game. Just under two minutes left. Maryland Eye. Hand it off, and he's pushed down. It's going to be a loss here for DJ Hall. Kyle Mixon, his first tackle of the day. Just under 90 seconds left as we go to the option formation. Hall in motion. And they toss it out. Can they seal it? No. It's going to be third down. Trey White trying to convert here, and he connects, but he's short. And they're going for it again, getting aggressive. Don't want to bring out the field goal team. See if they can convert. Give you a handoff. Can they get the edge? Yes, they do. Brant gets the first. The drive continues as we approach a minute to go inside the 30. Southern Miss knocking on the door. Grant motions out. They're going to run quick option the other way. Trey White goes down. Very disciplined here from Southern or from Oklahoma State on defense today. Second seven, tight end in motion. No, that's DJ Hall. Deep drop here. They're yamming it to the edge. An open man. Blow coverage. Touchdown, Southern Miss. DJ Anderson gives them the lead. Nobody was covering them all alone. Looks like the hurry-up offense got them in some weird defense. They didn't know what was happening. And that's a tutty. Massive mistake here from the Pokes. NCAA painted on the chests. Fans showing love to the NCAA 14 era, I guess. <laughs> Why on earth would you paint that on your chest in a playoff game? I don't know, but... Unbelievable. All right, folks. 40 seconds here for Oklahoma State. Will they start throwing the ball? We have one catch for Asher in the first half. Gates. And that's tipped away. Southern miss with the deflection. 36 seconds now. Pablo Smalls pressing Asher top of your screen. Gates has to take off. Nobody open downfield. He gets the first and a little bit more. What a run. Approaching the 40 now. They are in yam range. One timeout. Gates takes off again. He breaks one and gets past the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, 23 left. They took the final timeout, though. Second and 10. 
Trying to get in field goal range for Robin Edmondson. Yams this one, and that's out of bounds, just off target. Gates not looking good at all today. Dude, the, the brights are too light. Third down here for Gates. He's empty. Three-man rush. Floats this one. That is going to be to shell in and uh, fourth down. As they got to punt it. Too much time to run for it. Don't want to give up a yam. Keep this at a four-point deficit. What a crazy first half this has been. Very slow moving, one big mistake, and that's the difference. Got eight seconds here for Southern Miss. See if they try anything. Looks like they're just going to fall on this and go to half up four. And there it is. So as we hit halftime, it's 7-3. The difference was the blown coverage touchdown for Southern Miss. Feel like Oklahoma State just kind of jumbled. I'm, I'm not sure. They they just don't play very well live, and that's just an unfortunate aspect of this game. Some teams are just bad when you watch them. Might be playbook, might be the players, but Southern Miss up four. Remember, folks, VODs and stuff will be available tonight. Highlights I'm going to push out really late tonight. So they will be up before games start tomorrow, but you might miss them tonight. Um, all these games so far have been worth the watch. Every single one was one score coming down to the wire. Texas, Boston College, and Cincy Baylor were must-watch television. Um, we'll be back tomorrow for four games as well. We're going to do the full quarterfinal same way we did it today. I don't know when the semifinals or the natty are going to be. Um, probably Thursday for the semis. Not sure about the natty, but... Might just do the Natty on Thursday as well. We'll have to see. But looking at the spreads, I mean, very evenly matched. Just not a very offensive game. I'm just surprised at that passing yards for Oklahoma State. Feel like, uh, you know, watching Stequavius Gates, he should play a little bit better. You know, we've seen a lot of great quarterback play today. It's possible. So Southern Miss will start out with the ball. 18 minutes left. Both of these teams' first playoff experience. Who is going to corral it and get a W? Who is going to face Nebraska in the cotton? Trey White comes on out. Option, he keeps it. Nice little gain there for six. Second and four now here for Oklahoma State. Can they get a stop? Trey White, DJ Hall in motion. It's going to be a handoff, and that's blown up. Did not fake out the defender. It's John Graves. He's had a fantastic day from the safety position. He snuffed that out right away. So third down. Southern Miss not very good today on third down. Trey White over the middle, and that's short. So three now here for Oklahoma State. So here comes the punt unit now. It's a 7-3 ball game. Oklahoma State now on the return. They're going to have nice field position at the 40. Bear Cave on the line. A lot of bets on the line, as it seems. A lot coming down to the wire. Huey Cree gets a carry. Gets nowhere. Maybe three. Second and seven. They're out empty. Gates over the middle. He finds Marcus Hill, but short again. Only the short passing has worked today for Gates. 
10 of 15, averaging 5.2 a completion. Not too great. We got another third down coming. Another third down. And off to Huey Creed to the outside. Can he turn the corner? Yes, he does. First down, Oklahoma State. They're going to hurry it up. Maybe they see something we don't. Will they take a chance? Asher has one catch on the day. The Belentikoff winner. Huey Creed gets a nice carry here. He gets a big game. First and 10 inside the 35. Gates, the best drive of the day. Over the middle, that's a catch and a drop. Gates finally makes a good throw and they drop it. Receivers got to help him out here. Second and 10. Hand off to Creed. And he gets two. Third and eight. Third quarter slowly dragging along. Fringe field goal range for Robin Edmondson. Third and eight for Gates. Bring a blitz. Gates, he's, oh no, he sacked and kicked out of field goal range. They get to him. They bring the house and it works. And they're still kicking it. My God, it's a 58-yarder. Robin Edmondson from right hash. The kick, it's up. And it's a whoa. Way left for Robin Edmondson. He channeled his inner sea bass. That was in another zip code. Just an egregious call there from Coach Fed. Never a chance. So Southern Miss takes over now. I didn't know Seabass had eligibility left. God, dude, Edmondson's been such a good kicker, and he just ruined his aura with that one. What kind of kick was that? Second and eight. Man in motion. Quick option here for White. He finds a hole. He gets hit hard. Third and two now for Southern Miss. Can they keep this drive going? White. On the run, floats it back, and that's caught. What a catch. What wherewithal to throw it cross Barty, DJ, DJ Anderson. Have yourself a day. And they said receivers on triple option teams don't matter. First and 10. That's balls on the ground. It's live. Terry Baker has it. They get the turnover when they needed it most. The second fumble of the day for Trey White. This time turns it over. Here comes Gates. Can they capitalize? They give it to the backup running back, J.P. Battle. He gets six. Second and four. Oklahoma State. Can they find a way? Creed, he gets nothing. Will be third down. Seven to three here as we are past a halfway point. Third down. Gates has time. He decides to take off and he's going to get sacked. <laughs> Unbelievable. Gates just looks like a fish out of water today. I'm not sure what's going on. If it, is it mind games? Did the Blizzard break him? Did losing the Heisman break him? What's going on? 
Yeah, one of these teams is going to have to get throttled by Nebraska. It's not going to be a pretty sight. And that is going to roll into the end zone. We got 12 minutes left here in this game. The final CFP opening round game of the season. Quarterfinals are tomorrow. Trey White under center. Triple option. He keeps it this time. Doesn't throw out a bad pitch. Gets six. Southern Miss, they, they know that Oklahoma State can't do anything on offense. All you got to do is just play a clean game. Maybe add a field goal here. You should be good. DJ Hall gets a first. <laughs> no, Zach, I'm building you up. Nebraska's going to win by 60. You got this. No way you blow another lead, right? First and 10 for Trey White. Dumps that short. Nice play by OK State. Their defense starting to heat up. I mean, we've seen this Southern Miss offense have some very good days. Oklahoma State's defense is no slouch. They played pretty well against Nebraska in the first half. So second and 12 here. Southern Miss under center. Deep drop from Trey. He gets sacked by Terry Baker. This Terry Baker guy is a stud, dude. He's elite, man. Deuce Withers who? Look at Terry Baker, dude. He's getting fumbles. He's getting sacks. He's tracking people down. I don't see Deuce Withers doing that. Third and 20. Split backs. Dumps this off to Brandt. Let's see if he has some magic in him. No. Fourth down. Punt unit comes on out. Another chance for Oklahoma State. Here's the punt. And the return. Thibodeau angles left, and he gets 13. See what the Pokes can do here. 7-3, no score so far in the second half. We had one broken coverage touchdown for Southern Miss. First and 10, delay give to Huey Creed. Can he find a hole? No, he's brought down by Benson. Some big hits from these linebackers today for Southern Miss, but... No fumbles coming from it. Second and six now. Back around midfield. You got to think eventually Gates will click here. Maybe he'll target Asher at some point, hopefully, as we get a QB draw. <laughs> what are these play calls? Oh, my God, dude. You got, like, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, and you're calling QB draws. I can't. Where's the Rice playbook when you need it? So third down here. Gates yams it deep. It's 50-50 and it's dropped. What a play. They finally listened to me and yammed it and they couldn't bring it down. He had a step as well. So now they're going to try to pin him deep here. They're angling this towards the sideline and ooh, that was close. So Southern Miss takes back over. They have the lead. There's just been no offense here in the second half. This comes out to the 20. Maryland eye time for Oklahoma State. Can they get a stop? I don't know why I just call them Oklahoma State, but it's DJ Hall for six. Who wants a date with Nebraska? Can we get Nebraska, Oklahoma State, number three? Second and four. Trey White. Makes it, throws it to DJ Hall out of the backfield. That's a nice catch for eight. Love this camera angle. Great job, NCAA. Now we got a first down here. Two tight ends. Hand off to DJ Hall. Can he find the outside? He does. He breaks one. Ooh, that was close. That could have been brutal. Back.
back around the 50 is Southern Miss. Maryland Eye again. Last play of the third quarter. DJ Hall to the outside, and they push him down. So as we head to the fourth quarter here, folks, it's still a four-point game. No score since the second. 7-3. The butt cheeks are clenching. Who will be the final team to punch their ticket to the quarterfinals? Will it be the G5 Southern Miss, or will it be OK State? Second and six here. Golden Eagles loving the Maryland eye. They're going to flip it. Look at all these guys up by, by the line. This is ridiculous. They hand it off. They get a hole. DJ Hall, a big run. He gets 13. Starting to feel the pressure now for Oklahoma State. Home team is rowdy. First and 10, quick option. It's Trey White to the edge. He gets one. Oklahoma State's defense has been incredible today. Holding this triple option, very minimal yardage, seven total points. It's been a sight to behold, but it's just wasted. Second and nine. White floats it. That's a first. It's DJ Anderson again. They keep the drive going. First and 10 here for Southern Miss. The handoff to Hall. He gets nothing. Second and six now. Maryland eye again. Handoff to Hall. He gets a carry. And he breaks one. He finds eight. Southern Miss looking to add a second touchdown here to put them up 11. Could this be even the dagger? Trey White, he takes off. Trey White, he has some room on the edge. He cuts up field and he gets seven. Oklahoma State starting to break. The defense is curling. Second and three. Option formation, here we go. Second and three here for the Golden Eagles. The handoff to Sean Martin. Stiffy's a man. Touchdown, Southern Miss. They go up 11. The fans can taste it. The Cotton Bowl. One of the best teams of the season. Up 14 to 3. But you still got the best quarterback wide receiver duo in the country on the other side. Will they utilize him? I don't know, but it's still there. You got Tyreek Asher, who has one catch today, the B the Belentikoff and Walter Camp winner. And then you also have Stequavius Gates, who won, I believe he won the uh the Maxwell. First and 10. Down 11. Will they wake up? Quick option. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent idea. My God, get these guys off my screen, man. What is happening? Looking like three home teams are going to win again. Second and nine. Can Gates do anything? It's another QB draw. <laughs> Why on earth are you running a draw? They think they have D. Dowis or something. I don't know what's happening here. 2 of 11 on third, bro. Third down here for Oklahoma State. Gates, he's going to sit back there. Will he throw it? No, he's sacked. Satchel the Jokey, the SFA player, gets home. Maybe the Heisman voters got it right. <laughs> Brutal display of offense here today. Maybe Southern Miss is just that good. Is this going to be Julius Swain's future? Second and 
Southern Miss gets a nice carry here. Inside the 45. I form. Dumps that. DJ Hall, and he steps out of bounds. So Oklahoma State desperate. They can maybe let up a field goal here, but can't give up anything else. Trey White has been electric through the air. 15 of 17 on the day. Very efficient. Second and six. Like they're going to start trying to run this clock. That's what they're going to do. Oklahoma State, it's looking not too good here for the Pokes. They're going to fake the handoff. Oh, broken play, and he's sacked. Got caught on the up man there. Third and 12. Trey White. They're going to continue to run the clock. This is really last chance for Oklahoma State. They got to get this stop, get a touchdown, and then they're in the game. But you have to get a stop here. If you give up a first, it's over. They'll run the clock till you have timeouts, then you have no chance. Third and 12. All in motion. It's going to be a screen to Brandt. They get it off. Brandt turns up field. He's going to get the first and a lot more. There he goes. He hurdles. He's pushing. Oh, baby. Not like this. Don't bring it back. No! An unbelievable play taken out by a clip. You can't do... Oh, that was such a good play. That might have been the greatest play we've ever seen taken out by a clipping call. I am sick to my stomach. That was such a good play. Third and 24 now. They will get to run the clock a bit more. Oklahoma State survives for a second. Still alive somehow. Third and 24. And that is thrown into the ground. So clock stops. So here's the return for Oklahoma State. Last chance for the Pokes. Three minutes, 44 seconds. You have to score before using your timeouts, and then you're in this. See if they can do it. First and 10. Gates, and that's a drop. What are we doing? Don't know what Oklahoma State is on. They hate this is just an abysmal performance from the get-go. Second and ten. They hand it off. This is going to Hill. That goes nowhere. Brutal display today. Southern Miss has him in a blender. Pablo Smalls wraps him up. Third and forever. No chance in hell they convert. Here's Gates in the shotgun, tight end in motion. They bring a blitz. Gates over the middle, finds Derek McNeil, and he just stops for no reason. Fourth down, game on the line. Last call here for the Pokes. Can they generate some offense? It's Gates. He dumps it short. Broken tackle, and he goes down. Turnover here for the Pokes. An embarrassment of a playoff performance here for the Oklahoma State Cowboys. First and 10, Southern Miss takes their victory lap as they will just run the clock here. All Southern Miss today, even though they didn't have a good offensive performance, 
The defense was lights out. Quick option, floats that DJ Hall. Third down. Third down, Southern Miss hands it off to Hall to end the game, it's a first. He gets speared, but it doesn't matter. He can just run this game out now, a matter of time. Quick option, White keeps it, he spins, he gets six. Second and four. Hand off to Hall. He pushes. Gonna be third down. First down ends the game officially. Hand off and there it is. Sean Martin gets it. First and goal, victory formation here for Southern Miss. One more snap here, Oklahoma State's going home. And as we hit triple zeros here in uh, Southern Miss, they've done it. They knocked off the Big 12 runner-up in Oklahoma State, winning 14-3. to The offense wasn't very good. They turned it over, but they got her done on the back of the defense. Southern Miss will go ahead to the Cotton Bowl to face Coach Zach in the Nebraska Cornhuskers tomorrow. It's going to be one hell of a quarterfinal. And this wraps up our college football playoff season 15 opening round. We'll see you back here tomorrow for the quarterfinals. Oh, baby, seven games left in season 15. Thanks for watching. Man, a lot of games, a lot of action, a lot to edit. And uh, I don't get to do it now. I have to wait till tonight. So VOD should go live here in a little bit. I'll put all four of them live whenever they're ready. And then I'll have the highlight videos out late tonight. But they will all be up before we start the games tomorrow in case you missed any of the action. So I will also be sending out um, a ping to all of the people still in here. So uh, go wait for that ping and, and claim where you want to be tomorrow. As we have two games in the morning, two games in the afternoon. As we try to finish Season 15, I will also start sending out some carousel picks. See where you want to go for the new game if you choose to do so. So, big time day today. So let's check out how this one ended here before we go ahead and shut her down. Not that big of a scoring summary. Only two touchdowns and a field goal here. Oklahoma State, terrible day. 12 of 20, 59. Just ridiculously bad. Just such bad, bad, bad. He had just as many carries as Creed. Shouldn't happen. And then one catch for Tyreek Asher. Just, uh, I can't believe it. On defense, the defense was great, though. Three TFLs for Graves. He played well. Terry Baker, dominant player. No interceptions or anything crazy, but they did get two fumbles. Um, only recovered one of them. And that's going to do it here for Oklahoma State in Season 15. The run is over as Trey White and company had a big-time day. 15 of 18, 127 in a tutty. Trey White. Led in carries, didn't do much. Hall had a good day. Martin got the tutty. Great play by Brant, wiped off the board. And on defense, Dwight Benson had a good day. Larry Toro, Blaylock all played a big role. A lot of sacks here. Five different people picking up a sack. 
And deflection-wise, okay. No turnovers forced for them. They just sound defense. And that will do it. So let's check out our players of the game. And then we'll go ahead and get on out of here. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, long day of streams. We'll do it again tomorrow. Um, my, oh, my. My voice is... I'm surprised my voice is still fine this deep in. So we had a full day yesterday. We had a full day today. So... Interesting, interesting. So we got the this is the six eleven matchup, and this was our uh... all right. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Vods will be a little bit later today, and uh, highlights will be late tonight. Thanks for watching. Peace.